this is Sean Cardi live from MGA here at the Maroon and Great Challenge. Hey, let's see what the scores are for this guy who is for Maroon. A 7 from Adrian and an 8 from Jesse. That will add up to a 15 as Mike just said. And he was, I believe, on Maroon. So that will help him out pretty well. All right, now we're, now, now, now we're going to get Tristan Greska up here who, who got the highest, has gotten the highest score so far. Tristan. So, how did, you, how, did you, how, did you, how did you feel about getting a 9 and an 8? Uh, well, I didn't know my score. Uh, you just uh, told me it was a 9 and an 8, and it was really cool. Uh, we, we like that uh, beach bum thing you did with the hand behind the head. Well, how'd you come up with that? Well, uh, Jeff told me to do this pose, and I tried, and it worked. I'm glad. Well, thank you, Frenchie. You can sit down now. All right. Now we are, we are going to hear from the gray team. And PJ O'Connell is going from cabin three. And oh man, what a jump. And he'll go a long way. He'll end up on the grass. That'll really bring down his score. That's really not gonna help him out at all. A two and a four, yuck. Oh man, the great team, which is my team, is gonna have a lot of props. Now we're gonna hear. Now, now we're gonna hear from the. Well, we're gonna get to, from the maroon team. There is a girl named Shayna, who is a counselor that is going right now for the maroon team. And she, she jumps. Oh man, she bounces. She's not gonna go far. She's not sewing herself down with her hands. But who? But who wait may pull it farther than she expected. She'll almost get to the bunker. Her distance will be good, but her style was not very good at all. A one and a two. Oh, man. It's, but, 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 but she was on maroon, so I'm happy about that. But her style was just crud on that run. It, it, it really just wasn't good at all. Okay. Now, here we go, folks. We're going to hear from the maroon team's Adam Dedino. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to hear from Tom. Tom's going to go a long way down. And, man, he, could he reach the bunker? Could he? And he is in! He is the farthest so far for the gray team is Tom from Corpus Christi, Texas. Tom! 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 Hey, Tom, come on over here for a sec. Tom! Tom! Tom, come on over here. All right, now we're going to interview Tom, who has gotten the best score for the great team yet. So, uh, Tom, you are now on the week that was video. How do you feel about that great run? I feel great, man. It was awesome. Hitting that sand at 100 miles an hour, it was awesome. You just got sand in my mouth. Thank you very much. All right, that was, that was the best run of the day so far. Now they're going to be washing up, and now I will do a little tap dancing. All right. Okay, now we're gonna go to the judges. Okay, Adrian, you, you seem to always give a lower score than just than Jesse. Why? I've had more experience than him. Uh, I've been an international uh, competitor myself. Have you? In, in, in what? At slip and slide. I represent the United States in the 1968 Olympics for slip and slide. There is no slip and slide event. Do you realize that? Uh, I was there though. Sanctioned Olympic event, but it was still it still occurred. Okay, now Jesse, you always seem to give a higher score. Why? I was paid off. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to Joel, who's the leader of the whole camp. So Joel, how do you feel about running the whole camp? This is overwhelming. I've I've never seen anything like it in my life. This is incredible display of sportsmanship and athleticism coming down this slip and slide. Never did I dream in a million years that the kids would make it all the way to the bunker, but they're a new breed. It's a new generation. Guys like you and like kids like this, they just got more than I ever imagined. It's incredible. They come from everywhere to compete in this slip and slide. I'm impressed. Thank and you. And so is my daughter. Yes, how do you feel about Joel being your father? Yes, I love it. I can't believe it. She spoke for the first time. Yeah, that's good. I'm, and in the background here, we just got from... Thank you very much, Joel. Thank we really appreciate you. you running this whole camp for us. <laughs> Thank you very much. That does it for us for now. Don't forget, NBC Sports will be back again tomorrow at 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific for second round coverage of the United States Open. <laughs>